Hey, thank you for joining us again. My name is Junior, and welcome to the future. And this is myblockchain.tv, where we feature the most important and the most entertaining videos every day, updated at least four times a day, with the best new videos every day, seven days a week. And this video is sponsored by mysuperleaf.com and my Superleaf NFT farm collection number one. The real life Farmville, where we make a lot of money and help save the world by reducing global warming, where we invest in land and organic products to help save the world. So every week I take some samples of the best videos on YouTube and in this video, we will show you some clips about NFTs and why some NFTs have a fake valuation and how NFTs are also changing the world and making a lot of people rich. So NFTs come from blockchain technology, which is here to stay. You know, this is the future. So welcome to the digital revolution and hopefully we will use it to fix all the problems caused by the industrial revolution. All right, so at myblockchain.tv and mysuperleaf.com, we specialize in blockchain technologies and eco technologies or eco-friendly technologies that we use to reverse the harmful effects of global warming and climate change. Even the blockchain industry has a lot of problems with its carbon footprint and the amount of energy and fossil fuels being used for blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum. So with myblockchain.tv, we post videos and tutorials. And if you purchase an annual membership, we'll email you private videos to show you all the solutions that we are currently using. Uh, this is also called carbon offsetting. Okay, so every time you buy an NFT with the My Super Leaf Farm collection, you are reducing the amount of garbage polluting our air in landfills and emitting methane, which is 80 times worse than CO2 in the first 20 years. Matter of fact, let me start playing some of these video clips so we could dive right into the problems and the solutions. I know carbon offsets don't really sound that sexy, but they're kind of a hot topic right now. So the basic idea of an offset is, is that if you're naughty and you emit a lot of carbon, that you can pay to have those emissions reduced somewhere else. The logic is that since the emitted CO2 goes into the atmosphere and damages the entire planet, you can cancel it out anywhere, preferably somewhere where it's easier and cheaper to do so. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Probably the first thing that comes to mind when you think offsets are trees, planting them or protecting them from being cut down. Trees, of course, sequester carbon, making them a very popular offset. Or you could pay projects to install renewable energy, like wind, solar or biogas. Then we get to the niche stuff, capturing the excess methane that seeps out from landfills or open coal mines. Effective since methane is about 25 times more potent than CO2. Or you can have even worse greenhouse gases destroyed or avoided, like laughing gas, which is about 300 times worse than CO2. So, hallo! Ich bin Kio. Ja, Karen. Herzlich willkommen im Königsmord. Karen Markgraf sells carbon offsets for a non-profit in Germany's northernmost state. These more offsets are voluntary offsets, meaning that anybody can buy them voluntarily if, for example, they want to reduce their flight chain like I do. And companies can also buy them to offset their millions of tons of emissions. But they're also mandatory offsets. Mandatory offsets are offsets that companies have to buy to stay under the maximum amount of carbon that they're allowed to emit per year. This mechanism was set in place by the Kyoto Protocol and updated in the Paris Agreement. The mandatory market used to make up the lion's share of offsets, but that's changing rapidly. You can imagine why when we rewind to those carbon neutrality promises. 
Last time I checked, you can't produce cars or deliver goods or pump oil out of the ground without emitting CO2. So to get to net zero, you need some of that sweet bookkeeping magic. The voluntary market has been growing rapidly in the past years, and 2021 is likely to set a new record. Renewable energy, as well as forestry and land use projects, are currently by far the most popular offsets. There's just one small problem. Many of the carbon offsets just don't offset carbon. Whoops! And yeah, so unfortunately, most of these projects are not offsetting carbon. And I mean most of them, like 85% of these projects are not offsetting carbon. And that's not a real big surprise. I mean, not a surprise to me, because almost every industry has the same problem. Greed and capitalism. But we could fix all of our problems using blockchain technology and eco-friendly technologies, especially blockchain technology, where we can use photos and videos stored on the blockchain as NFTs to show proof of ownership and proof of work, like the work that's being done on the land and the products being created on the land to increase the value of the land and the company so the NFT has real value that you can sell in the future. So not only are we creating a new business model, but we're creating a new economy and it's called a circular economy where nothing goes to waste. We try to reuse everything and we think about the planet first and profits last. But we are creating a very profitable business model and industry especially with the carbon offsets, we can now set a standard on how to turn food waste into new products like animal food or compost. And that's going to reduce the water usage on farms, which is extremely valuable. So this is a huge opportunity for us to become leaders in the zero waste management industry. And that includes not wasting water. So this is a global movement, and it starts with getting businesses, governments, and supermarkets to go zero waste as soon as possible. And now with the My Superleaf NFT farms, they can invest in reducing global warming and receive a reward from the land and stocks in our company. And we can make an unbelievable amount of money by charging companies to offset their carbon emissions. And the best part is we get paid from the fossil fuels industry, the agriculture industry, and the food waste industry, which is the top three causes for methane emissions. And our company also gets paid from customers like golf courses and farmers that have problems with their soil and need to use our organic fertilizers. And this is all just from the waste that we produced from our land and factory. So now add the money from selling organic cigars and paper made from lettuce and organic fruits and vegetables. And you can now invest in our NFT collection and own a piece of our first farm and factory. And this is why NFTs and blockchain are the future of everything. So we can fix our biggest problems and also become a billion dollar company like Yinsect with our insect farms and our black soldier flies and our cricket farms and most importantly, our NFTs. Only a few months ago, the term NFT was exploding all over the internet. Now to the latest trend, the skyrocketing prices for digital art sold as NFTs. The Christie's auction for digital artist Beeple coming to a close a few moments ago. The final bid, $69 million. $69 million. I think it probably means digital art is here to stay. 
Anybody in this sector has to admit that they were shocked by the size and the ferocity and speed that the industry evolved so quickly. The number of wallets that were purchasing NFTs skyrocketed. The number of transactions of NFTs across the board skyrocketed. And the prices for many NFT artists also went up. But that came down very, very fast. Once red hot, NFTs are now cooling off a bit. The secondary market for the majority of people's paintings today is down 90, 95% from the peak, as is most NFT art. But even more recently, NFTs have been on the rise once again. And even with significant value volatility in NFT artwork, NFT collectibles like NBA Top Shot and NFT-based video games like Axie Infinity have surged in popularity. The correction that kind of happened with the NFT art side is healthy. And what we're going to see come out of that now are projects that actually have utility that will be able to affect a much wider amount of people. And I think that's where the excitement is. Well, the real estate investors are paying millions of dollars for plots of land that don't even exist. It's come to this, at least not where you and I can see the land. They're in the metaverse, the virtual reality space where a digital private island can cost as much as an average American home, legitimately. On the land rush where there is no real land. The number of people able to spend large sums of cryptocurrency on NFTs is relatively small. And a lot of people became very interested in jumping on the bandwagon. There was a world that was opened up to a general public that they didn't know about and that seemed like a world of infinite possibilities. And so corporations suddenly started releasing NFTs. Charmin toilet paper released an NFT. I just got an email about Campbell Soup's first NFT. And this isn't just about artworks. This is also about the various NFTs that are connected to games and virtual worlds and so forth. People are connecting houses to NFTs. They're connecting physical artworks to NFTs. They're connecting portions of an entire soccer team in a Mexican soccer league to NFTs. And you see, that's basically what we did. We're taking real estate from a 156 acre farm and tropical garden in the Dominican Republic. And we're taking ownership of the farm and lettuce factory, making our unique products, which is the world's first paper and organic wraps. And now we have the world's first lettuce and CBD cigars made from iceberg lettuce. We are the only company in the world that makes this product, and this is my invention. And part of this program is that we show you how to make our product. We're going to teach the world how to make our product. We call this open source capitalism. And you're watching this video at the perfect time because we're about to change the world forever. So let me play some more clips. And while the initial boom of interest did drive more people to participate in the NFT marketplace than before, those numbers are still relatively small. According to a 2021 report by nonfungible.com, weekly active wallets, in theory the number of people who bought and sold NFTs in a given week, peaked at only 40,000. And if NFTs are going to become the asset class of the digital future, the number of buyers and sellers in the market must increase by a lot. There's still a tremendous amount of friction. To get a MetaMask wallet, to understand the idea of holding private keys, to engage with this world, it's, um, it's a process. And that's right. This is a process, okay? That's why this is a pre-sale, okay? This is an NFT pre-sale. So our NFT collection is 100 total NFTs, which represent a 100% ownership of the land and company. So each NFT is for 1% of the company at 1.56 acres of land, 1% ownership of the land. So that's 1.56 acres. And we also have our fractional NFTs, which is 1% ownership of one NFT. Each fractional NFT costs $85.
So this is the only way you can order our products. So there's no stores that are selling Superleaf anymore, no websites, because all of our products have been sold out since the pandemic started. So this is the only way you can order our products and the only way that you can get the green lettuce wraps and the green cigars. So we're also launching the green cigar challenge. All right, we also have the smoke healthier challenge coming out, but first we're going to go viral by launching the green cigar challenge. So anyone that has a green cigar in their pictures or in their videos, it's going to use the hashtag green cigar challenge and we're going to make this go viral. So our plan is to send our green wraps, the famous influencers and entertainers to help us make the green cigar challenge go viral. So everybody wants a green cigar that will create a huge demand for our products and help us sell out our NFTs to create a secondary market that will be willing to buy the NFTs from the original owners at a higher price. Because it's a first come first serve, we're processing the NFT collection. This is collection number one. Okay, so the first NFT will be one out of 100 and we're processing NFTs in the order that they're received. So NFT collections are like a book or a comic, right? So the first edition will always be the most valuable. So order your NFT or your fractional NFT today to lock in your position and receive your contract and paid invoice with instructions on how to set up your crypto wallet and receive your NFT. So we mainly work with Coinbase and Coinbase wallets, but we also work with Trust Wallet and we have a few others that we will recommend for you in your email. So remember, it's a process and we're gonna show you how to receive your NFT. So you're also getting a free lesson on how to use NFTs, how to receive NFTs and save them, okay? How to keep them safe. And we're gonna show you all of this. So um, this is also valuable because it's hard to find a school or a online course teaching you about NFTs and blockchain, you know, for this price. So you're getting a lot of value for the amount of money that you're paying. And you receive a one-year membership for myblockchain.tv for the best YouTube videos updated at least four times a day, seven days a week, even on holidays. Okay, the most important videos and the most entertaining videos, the best tutorials when it comes to Bitcoin, blockchain, NFTs, and eco-friendly solutions and eco-technologies on climate change. And it also includes one free month of my Superleaf organic wraps where you choose from 100 mini wraps or 60 extra large cigar wraps. And remember, in the future, this is the only way you can buy our products is going through our website or our app or the My Superleaf NFT farm project. So let's get started today. All right, let's get started with the green cigar challenge and the smoke healthier challenge. So order now. I'll see you in the future and welcome to the future. You know, I'm excited to get this industry started with you. Let's get rich while we help the poor. Let's start off with the green cigar challenge and the smoke healthier challenge. Let's get this on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all the social media. Let's get all the entertainers and all the models and all the retired athletes involved. Tell the models this is the best thing for them, for their lips and their teeth. And we have over 55 years of independent medical research showing that smoking lettuce is the healthiest way to smoke to avoid lung cancer. And we also have a lot of research about the benefits to your mouth 
to your lips and to your teeth. So you can check that out at mysuperleaf.com. As always, thank you so much for your time. My name is Junior, and welcome to the future. Thank you.